Hey guys, so here's the spreadsheet explanation for the CC getup attack video and I'm just going to get right into it. So on the left we have the characters. This is what you're looking for. You want to find your main and then you can find the information of how long you can CC getup attacks until. So if you're a fox main, you can see I've highlighted it, you'd go into here and this first column, the V1 and 2, 21 and 26 double hit column is the single most important one. So if you just want to find that percent that'll work against 21 of the 26 characters, this is it. So for fox that number is 84%. However, if you remember in the video, I mentioned that uh, single hits and double hits are a thing with getup attacks. So since it's safer to just assume you're going to get hit twice, the number is 84%. But if Fox only gets hit once by these getup attacks, he can do it until 90%. So that shows that little discrepancy. I'm sure some people will test it and wonder. Um, on the next, uh, to the right, I have the Samus percents. Again, factoring in the same thing, except this time her getup attack does 8 damage. I just have the one set of percents from Mewtwo because honestly Mewtwo is a pretty uncommon character and like you just don't play him that much. And I have the strong hit for Zelda because most of the time, Zelda and Peach, most of the time she actually has a weaker hit that works quite a bit longer. So I'll probably add that to the spreadsheet at some point, but I don't think it's super essential. Um, at the bottom you can see that I have Icy's Mewtwo and Luigi taken out of this list because they cannot punish... Um, the get up attack due to traction, so it's not really worth including them. Um, moving on, the frame data tab shows basically just the actual specific frame data for each get up attack. Um, so, for example, Fox's get up attack has 23 frames of uh, end lag, which is how many frames you have to punish him. Um, start lag is 16, he's invincible for 26 frames, and the entire animation takes 49. It's worth noting that I've divided these from back and stomach, that's because get up attacks are different depending on whether your character lands on your back or on its stomach. So for example, like if Fox lands on his back, he has 23 frames of end lag, 16 frames of start lag, but if he's on his stomach, he has again 23 frames of end lag, but 18 frames start lag. So there's like subtle differences and sometimes it can be quite substantial. I mentioned in the video that um, Puff has 15 frames of invincibility on her back getup attack, but if you look on her regular getup attack, she has the normal 26. I've also had a little tab here. This is the um, CC Defender Advantage. I've explained how I calculated this. It's like using a formula, but it shows how many frames you have to punish things. And I've highlighted that, like for example, Pikachu's get up attack, you really have quite a few frames to do it. On the flip side, like punishing Mewtwo's get up attack, you only have 12 frames. This is why I didn't bother including it in the CC percents. It's kind of harder. So it gives you an idea of like who this technique is strong against. Clearly it's very strong against Pikachu, it's also strong against DK, um, but moving on, these are the basic punish options with the frame data included in it, so again, it's good to hover over this and read this, but um, what it talks, or it speaks to really is just the, you know, frame data for common punish options, so Falco's F Smash takes 12 frames, so you can look back at this frame data thing, or I've actually included the CC Defender Advantage from the stuff before, so this is the same information that was in this tab. And um, for example, if I'm punishing Fox and I want to hit him with an F smash, well, I have 20 frames after crouch canceling his getup attack to punish him, so an F smash works. However, um, some options are trickier to punish. Like if you're grabbing, seven frames doesn't speak to that the movement that you have to do as well. So just because grab takes seven frames and you have 20 frames to punish doesn't mean you'll have 13 frames left over. You also have to cover the distance in 13 frames. But as I showed in the video, that's totally doable with most of the characters. So this is just to show you like um, what common options are and the frame data behind them, behind them. And it also shows the wave dash frames. This is based on a jump squat plus 10. So Fox is a particularly fast wave dash. So you can like theory craft and be like, maybe I could wave dash shine bet that timing is really tight, but like maybe you could do it 13 frames plus one, you know. So just kind of experimenting with that. Um, this is sort of give you the tools to do that. I actually have a little tutorial tab for people who don't end up watching this video, just to get an idea of like if you were to CC Fox's get up attack and it's Fox doing it, like what would the percents have to be, blah, blah, blah. And then I actually have the hitboxes that each character has. So you'll notice, for example, Samus actually has the hitboxes one, two, three. So V1 is the one that most characters have. V2 is the one that Ness, Mario, uh, Luigi, and Dr. Mario have. You know, I've got these ones labeled, but uh, that's why I call this V1 and V2 is because it's covering those, you know, the Mario weak hitbox and then the standard V1 hitbox. 
That's what I call it that everyone has. I even include that up here, V1 and 2. Um, and that's basically it. As far as uh, how I calculated the information, I went on to INEEDATA.COM and I went into this little calculator and you can actually find the move data for the attacks right here. So that's how I calculated the percents and then I just um, set it up so that you can test uh, crouch canceling. You know, you, you have to do a couple things. The big thing is hit crouching, put the ASDI down, you know, um, but you can see now it says CC right here. That means that the person would crouch cancel it. So it's how I can kind of calculate like what percent will um, Fox be able to uh, crouch cancel this hitbox of Falco's floor attack, which is a getup attack. And you should find that it lines up with what I put here. So Fox 90, it's going to break. See, now it says AT, OMS attackable. That means that you no longer can crouch cancel it and that you have to CC it. Um, this is a really good resource, and I would strongly recommend if you ever have any kind of theory ideas. This is how I got the idea for this video, was looking through people's floor attacks and finding that, like, wow, these all have the same properties. Um, one thing that's also worth mentioning that I didn't bother to do is uh, I actually think that there's probably this, these could all go 1% higher. Um, the reason I think that is I didn't calculate uh, the stale of the move so I think it actually could go 1% higher but I, I just didn't take the time to do that and I figured it was safer to assume that it isn't so if someone wants to kind of firm that up that's cool with me and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys so hope you enjoyed the video and hope you found this helpful this was a lot of work this was most of the stuff in the frame data in here besides this tab was uh, stuff I had like I had to calculate the defender frame advantage I had to find all these frame things. This was accessible. But all these percents were found by me, hitboxes, etc. collected, all the testing. I did a lot of in-game testing, and I hope it paid off. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.